Hey guys and welcome back. So today I wanted to share some of the new things that I've been adding to my wardrobe recently. As you guys know, I decided to do this huge wardrobe declutter and I actually have decided to also part with a few more things from my wardrobe which I've also popped into my tick tail. The link will be in the description box down below. But I wanted to really overhaul my style. I was feeling like I was in a bit of the style rut. A lot of my clothes were a little bit too big for me. My I guess my body shape has changed a little bit over the last year and I wasn't feeling as good in what I was wearing as I really should have. So I will link my wardrobe decluttering video up here if you haven't had a chance to see it already and I also did a makeup declutter as well. But in the wardrobe declutter I asked whether you would like to see the pieces that I have decided to add into my wardrobe as part of that shift towards finding my perfect personal style and a lot of you said yes so I figured I would share some of those items today. I'm going to go ahead and just give a bit of a caveat. These are all really simple basic pieces for your wardrobe. They're really classic staples. I've done a little bit of investing and also just finding those items that are really good quality but that don't necessarily break the bank. And I have some new things and I also have some things that I bought secondhand from The Real Real because I have an addiction <laughs> and I need to stop. So I'm going to go through it, so I mean if you see these items and you think they're a little bit boring, I'm sorry guys, but I really like that very simple, you know, minimal looking style. So I'm going to start with Uniqlo because I'm really getting into Uniqlo lately and the first thing that I wanted to mention is a turtleneck sweater and this has just been one of my favourite things. I got it in a charcoal, it's a ribbed turtleneck sweater with long sleeves and I'll show you guys cutaway so you can see how everything looks on but I am absolutely obsessed with this. I've worn this so much since I bought it. It looks amazing just underneath everything. I wore this out for dinner the other night with Luke underneath a black cami slip dress and it looked fantastic. I also wore this in New Zealand underneath wore of a pinafore dress which I also liked. I like it on its own tucked into a skirt. I actually wore this in my winter wardrobe lookbook video which will be linked up here in case you guys haven't seen that one either because that was a lot of fun to film but I'm just really pleased with this and it's a really nice fit. Um, I'll tell you guys all the sizes of everything too just in case for reference, I got it in an extra small. It's a really nice stretchy fit and I wanted something that was very close cut to the body so very happy with this and I really like the sleeve length too it's just slightly long but you can bunch them up and I think it looks really really cute so very very pleased with that one and then I really wanted to get into wearing trousers more and so I did an entire blog post on where I want my style to go so I'm going to link that down in the description box as well just in case you haven't had a chance to see it but essentially I just want to look like a Parisian. You're really going to see a bit of a theme with all of the different items that I have picked up. Also I kind of felt like I needed a few winter sweaters but going back to Uniqlo I decided to grab these woolen trousers with an elasticated back and I also took advantage of their tailoring service so that they could take up the uh, length a little bit so they would just graze my ankles and I'm really sorry these seem to be covered in Winston's fur even though I rolled them just before filming this video so <laughs> the joys of having a long haired cat his fur gets on everything but I really really like the fit of these I think they come up they're a bit of a mid-rise they don't have a button fly or anything you just pull them up so they're almost like a legging trouser but I love these I think they're so so comfortable they have yeah pockets at the front pockets at the back which I haven't unpicked and I got these in the extra small which is a 24 to 25 inch waist they fit me really really well and these are so comfy like I actually also took these with me to New Zealand and I've been loving wearing these with oversized knit sweaters I really think that's the best way to wear them on the weekend and they look great with my Everlane Chelsea boots so that's definitely one of my current go-to ways to throw these on and they come in so many different colors so I'd like to grab another Another pair possibly. These are wool as well so they're really warm and I've been so pleased with them so yeah and you can just throw these in the washing machine as well which is amazing. I love low maintenance clothing. And next time I talk about another pair of trousers which are on the opposite end of the spectrum, I managed to get these on sale so I was pretty lucky but I still think they're really pretty pricey and uh, I also think the silhouette's a little bit new for me so I am kind of getting used to how to style them but they are these trousers from Acne and these are in a navy wool so sorry you can 
I haven't actually done the zip up. I haven't worn these yet. I actually recently just got them. But I bought these from Barney's Warehouse. So they have elasticated sides here at the waist, which helps to nip it in. And it's sort of satin, which I think is really, really a nice contrast. And then they have a really wide leg. And they've got the pleating down the center, pockets. I love the way that this looks with just a really, really fitted top. And there's the next item that I'm going to show you looks gorgeous with these I think. Um, I was a little bit on the fence as to whether or not to keep these because I did think the leg was a little bit different for me but Luke really liked them and he was like no they look amazing. So I thought you know what I'm just going to roll with it and try this new silhouette because you know this is kind of what it's all about when you're trying to perfect and nail your personal styles. So yeah I think these are a really great investment. Again these are a wool trouser so more of a winter one for me and I really can't wait to start styling them up. So that kind of brings me to this next piece, which is this mock turtleneck top from Everlane. This is from their E2 capsule collection. And I've been wanting this for ages. This also came in a black, but unfortunately it was sold out in my size. They put this on their choose what you pay page, which I guess means that it's a discontinuing style, which is a shame because I think this is so perfect. It almost fits like a body. It's very snug, very, very closely cut. This isn't an extra small. By the way, the trousers that I got from Acne are a size 34, which is a UK AU6 or a US size 2, I think. Um, but yeah, so this just fits true to size which is I think a little bit different to a lot of their other fitted tops so I was so pleased when this arrived it is super stretchy and it's yeah just exactly what I was after and I think this is going to be such a wardrobe staple come summertime as well I think it's great for work and for play so very very pleased with this one and I just wish that I was able to get it in the black too because I think this is one of those everyday basic pieces which is great to have in your closet so Highly recommend grabbing one of these if you've been thinking about it and you're not sure. Okay, next I might talk about the two sweaters that I got from Country Road, which you will have seen one of them in my winter wardrobe lookbook. I did feature them in my New Zealand packing list. I've been all about these sweaters. I'm so, so pleased with them. I think this video is going to be really long too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so Country Road is an Australian label. I don't think that it's available to purchase internationally. I believe it is available in South Africa if you live there because it is owned by Woolworth South Africa. But you can get it in Australia and New Zealand and it's just such a great place for basics. It's sort of, I guess, like our version of J Crew. But yeah, I decided to get this horizontal rib knit. It's really oversized the charcoal gray I got it in a size extra small they do a lot of vanity sizing so I think if you're petite I'm about 172 centimeters tall and I think this is a really good fit on me for that slouchy fit but it has a bit of a bat wing to it this does pill up though that's the only thing and I knew as soon as I received it that it was going to pill it's a bit of a combination the fabric composition hold on can't remember off the top of my head but yeah it's wool nylon cotton viscose and yak so I I mean it sort of almost has that slightly acrylic-y feel to it which I don't I mean love it it's super soft though don't get me wrong but I knew as soon as it arrived it was going to pill up but I love the way that this looks and I love the way that this pairs with those trousers from Uniqlo I've also worn this a lot with my leather skirt from Willow I think this is going to be such a staple for winter time it's so warm so very very pleased with that one and the other one I got this is a little bit more lightweight so this is more for those days where it's a little bit warmer I guess and I got this from Country Road again, and this is a v-neck mohair knit. So it's got a little bit of sheerness to it, and I really like wearing this with a bra that I have from Lonely because it crisscrosses in the front, and I just think it's super sexy and just tucked into a pair of jeans. But yeah, this also looks good with trousers, it looks good with skirts. I'm so, so happy with it, and it's just sort of loose through the arm. I got it in the extra small. I wish I got it in the extra extra small because I think it's just a little bit bigger than I wanted but otherwise very happy with it and actually if you take these tags off you can wear it both ways. You can wear it so it's like a boat neck on the front as well which I think is very cool so I definitely need to get around to doing that. I've got two more new things and then I'm going to go into the things I got second hand. So the next item I want to mention is 
this blue cotton shirt from Equipment. So you guys will know that I have been saying I wanted to get a new blue cotton shirt. I have one from Everlane, but the blue is slightly different. It's a little bit darker and it has a slight stripe to it. I wanted this blue and this is just 100% perfect. This is exactly what I was after. And I like the fact that it's got the little pocket here on the chest. Uh, but this is just a really, really basic piece. And I think it's going to be great for summertime as well. Or more, I guess, springtime here. Summer, it's going to be too long to wear any too hot should I say to wear anything with sleeves but I really like the way this fits I got this in the extra small equipment shirts in general just fit oversized so as a rule I find it's best to size down if you're investing in a shirt from equipment but yeah very very pleased with this um, I think it's really nice and it has sort of a it's a very soft feeling cotton so yeah this is going to be one of those wardrobe staples I just I, I know it because I love blue shirts. And the last thing before I get into the bits that I got from the Real Real are a pair of shoes and these are from Paul Andrew. Now I have been wanting a pair of Paul Andrew shoes for ages. They do he does some really beautiful sling back flats which have been everywhere but I got these in the kitten heel and they're a um, taupey grey colour and I just think that they're beautiful it's a suede so they're really soft I know I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful with them because suede does mark up um, obviously I'm touching the bottom because I haven't worn them yet but I'm very very pleased with these these fit true to size so I got them in a 40 I actually managed to have these on sale using shop tagger so very very happy with this edition and I just think that these are so Parisian very very French inspired so yeah very very pleased with these shoes you guys know how much I love shoes and then I just got a pile of jumpers on my lap that I want to share with you I've got ham on the jumpers because it is starting to get cold and it was really that area in my wardrobe that was lacking the most I wanted a lot of cable knit sweaters and I found I didn't really have any and also um, I I also kind of wanted to get some more bread and striped tops so I have been looking at investing in a bread and striped top from Orseville and I think that's how you pronounce it if you haven't heard of them it's a French brand and they actually were the original suppliers to the French Navy of the Marinier. So I thought that, which, you know, there's no better brand, but I also really like St. James and there's one more. If I can remember, I'll drop a link to one of their striped tops in the description box below. But this one kind of came as a surprise and I think this is a little bit of a modern update on striped top. You guys will have already seen this on me, I'm sure, but it is this, uh, navy blue and white striped top from C by Chloe and it has a boat neckline which I love and the thing that I really like about this is that it has a slight nylon mesh so it has a sheer element to it which is really unexpected and yeah let me just show you the whole thing but <laughs> I have worn this so much this has just become one of those unexpected staples that I can't imagine not having now so very very pleased with this so glad that I decided to bite the bullet on it and yeah it's just been really great it was brand new with tags as well when I received it which I wasn't expecting so very very pleased with this one next is another jumper that you will have seen like hands down because I featured it in a couple of videos and I've been wearing it but it's this cable knit sweater from frame and I'm so so in love with this this is my teddy bear sweater it has the cable knit pattern running throughout it and throughout the sleeves which I really like because that's attention to detail and obviously you know I mean it takes a lot of work to actually knit a cable knit sweater so this is actually I think is it yak or something like that it's super soft hold on it's baby wool yak in cashmere that's why it's so soft but I like the fact that it's got the slight mock neck so it goes just up the neck a little bit it's not too bulky around there and this looks really great with white denim as you might have seen in my winter wardrobe lookbook so I really like the oversized fit of this and it looks great slightly tucked into skirts and things too so this is definitely going to be one of those ones that I'll be wearing a lot and I like the fact that it adds a little bit of lightness to my wardrobe because as you probably have guessed I have a huge predisposition position to basically anything that is dark colored and then the last jumper I wanted to share with you guys is uh, another piece from Acne and it is this sort of Iran cable knit sweater god Winston's fur on everything <laughs> uh, this is a navy and this is a, a cotton sweater actually and it's really heavy very heavy duty very very comfortable a nice loose fit which I really like and the arms are a little bit slimmer I really like the detail the pattern on the arms now I actually have 
had bought this two years ago. I bought it off eBay and it never arrived. It just ended up going missing and I was so devastated because I'd been on the hunt for it for ages. So I was really pleased when I spotted it on the reel, reel because it was something that I still wanted years later, which I think is always a good sign and, and a good sign of a worthy investment piece. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this and I managed to get it for a really good price too. So yeah, I'll try and find something similar and link it in the description box below because they do similar sweaters to this all of the time. But yeah, so that is everything that I've added to my wardrobe recently. I am kind of looking around to see if there are a couple of more summery pieces because I know our winter is going to be over before I know it. We have a really short winter here in Sydney and it's just going to heat up really quickly. So I have actually been eyeing up a few things from Nordstrom which I'm contemplating uh, biting the bullet on. We'll see. <laughs> but that is everything that I've added to my wardrobe just to try and revamp a little bit and I guess kind of pursue that Parisian nonchalant kind of style that I'm after. I'd love to know what your favorite piece was out of everything that I got. If there's anything that you have been eyeing up lately that you really want to add that you think would make a huge difference to your personal style and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new one. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!